Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the more attractive they are, the worse they are to date. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if this is necessarily true, but it sure feels like it. It sure feels like Fives think they're eights, eights think they're tens, and tens think they're 14 and a halfs. Um, I think a lot of you guys have noticed this, that a lot of women have become really unsufferable to date or to ask out or to communicate with. And I use this particular model um, because she is a model, apparently, uh, but because of her attitude. Um, now, some of you may say, well, I don't find this person uh, particularly attractive. And, and, you know, that's all subjective. But the point is the entitlement and the attitude that comes along with it. And whether you agree or not that someone is or isn't attractive, um, a big part of what people are forgetting that's attractive about somebody is their personality. Now, we as guys, we kind of know this, especially if you're not blessed by being tall or good looking or athletic or any of the other things, your personality is all you have. And I talked about that in a, a video about like if you're going to date personalities, you know, where it's at. And and a lot of women say that personality goes a long way. Now, I know I know a lot of you disagree with me that with that and say, hey, uh, you can have a great personality, but you judge a book by its cover. Or at least people do nowadays. And they'll take a look at you and they go, I don't even care what's in the book. Uh, the cover of the book is not what I'm looking for. And that argument, that argument has goes a long way nowadays. But we're going to talk about this today, and uh, before we jump into that, let me let me mention this. Uh, from the Golden Globes, a, uh, a biological man wins the Golden Globes for Best Actress in a TV Drama. <laughs> so, and like I've said before, uh, you get what you ask for, stunning and brave. So um, more positions of, of uh, that women traditionally held and more awards that they won and track meets and swim meets and other things – they're going to they're going to go away and women overwhelmingly vote with their passion in their heart and their compassion and they're going to compassion themselves right out of society you watch mind me uh you mind my words it'll happen and uh the other one i wanted to talk about is um <laughs> this was a post i found on twitter and there's an article that actually goes along with it i'm not going to dive deep into it but i i want to mention this because this is where things are going a guy named John posted this on Twitter. He said, even after a 12-hour shift, a night shift, at the hospital last night, my wife still has the energy to shovel the driveway. God bless her and all of our frontliners. Time to make her some breakfast. Now, you might say to yourself, Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You might say to yourself, wait, isn't that traditionally kind of how men did it, that men worked the night shifts and the long hours and then came home and shoveled the driveway before they went to bed and here a woman's doing it? Stunning and brave. Yeah, and he's cooking her breakfast. This is the role reversal that many women wanted. They wanted house husbands. So <laughs> it turns out this guy's the Manitoba Minister of Jobs in uh, Canada, tweets a photo of his wife shoveling snow after 12-hour hospital shift while he watched sports. And I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but they say uh, um, he made a questionable decision of snapping a photo while his wife was shoveling. Why is it questionable? If a guy went out and did a 12-hour shift, night shift, and then came home and shoveled the driveway, well, that he's a man. That's his job. But when a woman does it, well, that's questionable. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Where's my how, how dare you button? How dare you? How dare you be a house husband? Well, this is what this is what the women wanted. He describes himself as a family man. And uh, he got lots of tweets criticizing his, his decision. And somebody said that he was up until 2.44 a.m. the previous night watching tennis while his wife was working. So he stayed up late. He watched some late night tennis. He went to bed. He woke up in the morning and she's shoveling the driveway and he's like, hey, cool, I'll snap a picture, but I'll be nice and make her breakfast. I've got no problems with this. This is the world that women wanted. They voted for this. You got it. You got it, baby. See, so when you say, hey, what about the patriarchy and what about men imposing their, nope, nope. It's just the way you wanted it, ladies. You get what you ask for. All right, here's the main story. So this is from The Mirror. And again, I, look, I know these. a lot of these are trash rags, but uh, 
the they post the story. They have her video, and we're going to listen to it. I'm going to let you listen to the video first. Now, again, she is not my type, but she might be some of your types. So, but but once you hear her personality, let me know how many of you would say, oh, yeah, even, even if she is my type, I would date her. Okay, here are the top five rules if you want to date me. You got to take me shopping at least once a week. 12 dozen roses at least once a week. Let me close this down. Uh, the The audio went away. Now she's dancing and boxing for the camera. Go away, you thing. And so that that was what she had to say about it. They didn't even give her enough time. Why will you not close, you stupid browser? Close. Oh my gosh! Learn to code. All right. So it says model divides opinions with list of strict dating rules, including weekly allowance. Uh, Moriah Mills, 28, from New York in the U.S., has pretty high standards when it comes to men she dates. She listed her expectations in a TikTok video that has since gone viral. Now, again, she may or may not be your type. Uh, I did look up uh, her modeling. A lot of the, a lot of it is without clothing. So I'm guessing she probably has an OnlyFans as well. But she, I guess she does legitimate modeling. Although what that is any, nowadays, I don't know. Uh, so, but listen to what she says about this. And again, I got a couple of other stories to put back to back with this about why, you know, you can look like a 10, but if your personality is a two, all you're going to do is get used and dumped until you, no one wants to use you anymore. They say a model in self-proclaimed 10 out of 10 has shared a list of rules she expects prospective suitors to follow if they want to date her, leaving TikTok users divided. Maura Mills uh, from 28 from New York, U.S. is high standards. Uh, the list of requirements is a demanding one too, including things such as an allowance, weekly, uh, week, you have to go down on her weekly, and sent a dozen roses to her every week. Now, let me just pause here for a second and say one thing, okay? If you require a weekly income allowance to date you and uh, you expect weekly, you know, tongue baths and a dozen roses sent to you every week. That kind of sounds like being a professional to me. You're requiring money and gifts in exchange for dating. You're kind of a professional at that point. I mean, am I right? Uh, she says, I don't struggle for dates. I'm a 10 out of 10 and I don't need to waste my time on someone who isn't prepared to put the effort in. I want to be wined and dined, looked after, but he also has to have respect that I'm a girl boss who earns her own money. So her rules are, hey, I'm, a, I'm the girl boss. I make my own money. But also, you have to give me your money as well if you want to date. And again, now for me, personally, I, it looks to me like she's got more plastic in her than a Lego factory. But uh, she insists uh, on being wined and dined, she says, and I can't stand being pocket watched. Never comment on how much money I spend. It's none of your business. He also has to have his own money as I'm not supporting anyone. So number one, um, number one, she makes her own money and you can't tell her how to spend her money. Number two, she's not giving you a dime. And number three, you can't you can't tell her how to spend your money that you give to her either. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Uh, they say while some of the models' relationship stipulations may sound extreme, others are more standard. Let's hear what the standards are. He has to know how to cook and clean. I can't be dealing with someone who is messy or couldn't make dinner if we stay in. So if, if you guys stay in for the night, you have to cook and clean. Because she says, I can't stand someone who's messy or couldn't make dinner if we stay in. She didn't say that she's going to be making dinner. He also has to know how to dress well and smell good. Guys who don't smell good are such a turnoff. Any man I date has to love dogs and animals. I wouldn't even entertain someone who doesn't appreciate how amazing animals are. 
And again, this is her. I have a dog called Charlie, and he is my world. Stunning and brave, he's my world. Any man will always come in second to him, and they should know that. So where does that put you in the ranking when it comes to the dating? She comes first, Charlie comes second, you come third. You're an ATM, basically. It says, despite earning a significant income through her music, modeling, and OnlyFans career. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. There it is. Now, again, I don't read these articles all the way through. I usually get the first paragraph under to see if it'd be a story. And if it turns out it's not a story, you guys don't see the video. I just trash it. But there it is, OnlyFans. I knew it. So basically, again, professional. Uh, Moira expects to have the cash splashed on her. She said, I want a dozen roses sent to me at least once a week. And I already read that. And even though I usually pay for my own nails and pedicures, I would expect him to pay for them at least once a month. How often is she getting her nails and pedicures done if you got to pay for them once a month? She says, I also want an allowance to show how much you appreciate me. He has to spoil and romance me. Now, remember up here, the article said right here, while some of the model's relationship stipulations may sound extreme, others are more standard. Have you guys heard of one single thing in here that sounds reasonable and or standard? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. Uh, she is a rapper and actress, shared her list on TikTok, where it has six, since racked up 195,000 views and 17,000 likes in just a few days. And the reaction from users has been very mixed, with some happy to sign up straight away while others were less impressed. Now, here's the thing. The guys that are willing to sign up for this have zero value, zero value. And truth be known, probably zero money. Because a guy that does have money, a guy that does have income, a guy that does have the ability to date and, and get women would never, ever go for this. Never. Not this entitlement. A guy that really does have, is bringing something to the table, would never date somebody like this, ever. One guy writes, sign me up, beautiful. Another says, that's fine with me. You just got to cook for me. I heard you're great at that. No, no, no. You got to be great at that, not her. Some question what the model would offer to her boyfriend if they fulfilled the many requirements. Somebody says, what do you bring to the table? Exactly, exactly. Someone else says, really, LOL, LOL, I guess that's LOL lots of times. Uh, so what's in it for me? What do I get? inquired another potential suitor. No, he's not a potential suitor. He's making fun of her. Someone else says, nah, I'm good. Someone else says, yeah, you lost me at taking shopping once a week. Added laughing, crying emojis. Others were perplexed by the demand for weekly flower deliveries. Someone says, wait a minute, 12 dozen a week? LOL. Expensive ones, uh, expensive ones week. I can't even afford to buy one week to myself, I guess for flowers, somebody said. She has very specific ideas on how she wants a future boyfriend to treat her too. Oh, you mean we haven't gotten there yet? <laughs> Fuck you, blow me. The model said he must be funny, but don't, he cannot. Okay, now let me understand something. Those of you that are just listening, I'm reading these quotes verbatim. This is not Joker screwing up the words this time. Usually it is me. She says, quote, he must be funny, but don't, he cannot make me the butt of jokes. It's not funny at all and very annoying. I also want him to be confident with me, being sexy and hot and taking risky photos for my career. So not only do you have to not tease her, you can't have a laugh at her expense. You can't have, you know, crack a little joke on her. But you also be, have to become her photographer. <laughs> Any man who tries to stop me doing what I love and earning money is gone. So you can't complain about her OnlyFans. It's the same for any guy who has a problem if other men hit on me. My last couple of boyfriends couldn't handle the attention I got and tried to pick fights with everybody. So guys, if other men start flirting with her and talking with her, you have to shut up and sit there and just take it. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, the, the, of course she's being unreasonable, but how many women are we seeing today that are coming across like this? 
that have this kind of attitude, that are this annoying. And again, her 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 post on this got 17,000 likes. Now, I'm sure a lot of it was thirsty men, but how many women are looking up to this woman saying, slay it, queen, and yeah, girl, and that's me. That's what I, that's what I deserve. Notice she doesn't have any photos up without her caked on makeup. And I'll scroll back to that in a second to show you the caked on makeup. She says, it's a massive turnoff for me. If I'm with a guy, I'm super loyal to them. Are you though? Are you really? So you're telling me that if he stops giving you an allowance or he gets a little jealous that some guy's hitting on you or he's not cool with one of the photo shoots you did on OnlyFans, you're super loyal to that guy? No, she's going to throw him away like a, a used toilet paper. She says, you also have to be good in bed. In fact, the sex has to be amazing and you should give me oral weekly. You have to go down on her weekly. I want a masculine man who can look after me. Lastly, if any guy has managed to make it through 12 months, then they better be prepared to get down on one knee if they want it to last. Wait a minute. Let me read that last part again. Lastly, if any guy has managed to make it through 12 months, that means this 28-year-old, 28-year-old, uh, right? Isn't that what I said? That means this 28-year-old hasn't managed to have a relationship of even a year? Yeah, she's 28. So she hasn't even managed to keep a dude for a year. Because guys do not like her attitude, but some guys probably find her attractive, and they just pump and dump it. They put up with it for a little bit of time, maybe pay her a couple of allowance stipends. They use it and abuse it. They do the hardware store, which is screw, not bolt. And then they're out. If you're still lucky enough uh, to be dating me after one year, I don't see a ring. I'm going to break up with you. I have too many options. You're wasting my time. Now, now, obviously, you guys, we both know that there are women like this on the dating apps. They're on social media. They're on YouTube. They're out there. And I'm not saying that this is a vast majority but it's becoming more and more and more the normal. And because so because the internet exists and thirsty people, thirsty guys exist and thirsty guys will up like these. Now, it doesn't matter that the guys may be unattractive. It doesn't matter that the guy may not have two nickels to rub together. It doesn't matter if this guy's living in his mom's basement. And, and, and I, again, I'm not saying necessarily that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's not a guy that's in a position to really give this woman what she wants. But she's she's they will like and they will leave thirst comments on her. And so she'll get 10,000 thirsty guys that may not have really anything to offer her, likes and comments on her Instagram or on her whatever. And she will take that as social validation that men want me, that I'm desirable. But the guys that really have a lot to offer, the guys that that are high quality, the guys that um, would be something that a woman would like to have, they're not going around leaving thirsty comments. They're not going around liking photos on Instagram. They're not signing up to your OnlyFans. They're not having anything to do with you. Those are actually the men that the women want attention from. But these women are invisible to men like that. But she doesn't know it, and they will find out. And now I have a couple other stories here that I wanted to quickly go over. And, and the reason why I picked these out is because if you look at this picture of this woman, she is, again, now she's got a lot of makeup on. And same thing with this other woman. Like she does, there's not a photo of her without a, literally a painted face on. You have no idea what she looks like without makeup. I have no idea what she looks like. Even looking at a photo of this woman, I have no idea what she looks like. Same thing here. But she does... Again, she does look good with all her makeup on, and she's petite, and she looks like she's got a like, decent body. Scorned woman stuffs fish in X's mailbox uh, slot daily as revenge. She says, my toxic trait. Now, if a guy went and was stuffing meat through a woman's mail slot, do you think he'd get in trouble for that? 
Do you think he'd maybe get arrested? Don't think that they wouldn't come up and try to nail him for doing something like this. But they say a re revenge is a fish best served cold. The reason why I want to read this, I want you to hear the positive light that they spin this in for a woman doing something that's pretty stupid and pretty gross. A scorned woman is making waves online after re revealing her bizarre method of getting back at her ex, which involves placing a dead fish in his mailbox every day. My toxic trait is uh, that I post a raw fish through uh, my ex's letterbox every day, read the caption to the fishy clip, which was posted four days later by user, blah, blah, blah. According to footage shows the woman uh, shoving the unconventional uh, carpaccio into the uh, alleged ex's mailbox slot like a devious door dasher. It's just a fun prank, guys. Now, here's the thing. You might even say, yeah, but this is probably fake. She's just doing it for likes and she's just doing it for attention. Maybe she does, maybe this is her own door and maybe she's got a, a bucket on the other side and she pretends to stuff it through. It falls in the bucket. She rinses the door off. She goes and throws the fish away. It's her own, it's her own box. Maybe she's really not doing this. These are the lengths that will, people will go through for validation on social media, though. And this will give other people ideas of doing stupid things like it. So whether she's really doing it or not, uh, someone else will emulate this. I guarantee you that. And while Katie doesn't disclose what sparked the tiff, she explains in the comments that she dreamt up the odiferous measures to make him miss me. Well, that's what you want to do is to make your ex-boyfriend miss you. You want to put a smell like rotting fish in his house. If that makes him miss you, you need to go see a gynecologist and maybe have a health checkup. You may not be so fresh. In any case, her vindictive seafood delivery made a huge splash on TikTok. Somebody says, this is so funny. Go off, girl gushed one fan while another wrote, oh, I love women. This is what I'm talking about. That even if this is, fi uh, the, even if this is, fi even if this is fish, even if this is fake, other people are going to see this and they're going to be like, oh, that's funny. I, I should do something like that. Even Love Island uh, alumni, uh, Chloe Burroughs thought the spiceful sashimi stunt was pretty funny. Chiming in with L-O-O-O-L. Somebody says, uh, that's not a toxic trait. That's straight up torture, one uh, commenter said. Another said, imagine, being, uh, imagine a man doing this to a girl. The comments would be very, very different. Exactly. This isn't the first time someone has devised a diabolical method of exacting revenge on a former uh, paramour. The past, uh, this past July, a woman attempted to drive her husband mad by running 49 red lights in his car. No, that doesn't make somebody mad. That's a good way to get them probably arrested. But again, she's attractive. A lot of guys would see this and say, hey, man, I'd love to take a girl out like this. But the, the, the beauty, somewhere along the line, the beauty, the visual beauty, whether it's having a good pair of cans, whether it's having a slim waist, whether it's having a bubble butt, whether it's being pretty in the face or being able to apply makeup to make you look attractive. That is now because being a good person doesn't get any attention on social media. Being a good person doesn't get any attention anywhere anymore. It's all about the looks and the body and the attitude and everything else. And so this is what people are prizing the most is looks. And those looks are usually wrapped around a really, really awful person. So when I look at somebody and I say, hey, you know what? A lot of you guys might think this woman's an eight or a nine or a 10. I'm speaking purely from the aesthetics, from the visual. Because the truth is most of the time you get to know any of these women, they're ones. They're negative. They're horrible, horrible people. I got another one here. And again, this is, this is why I keep saying it is so important 
to to vet people for red flags now. These the, the I'm I I'm an influencer. I'm on social media. Social media is important to me. Like ask somebody. If you're going to go on a date with somebody, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is social media like Facebook and Instagram? Like how important is that to you? If they rated anything above like a 2, walk away. From the Daily Mail, poisonous jilted woman, 19, who had her ex arrested six times after setting up fake Instagram profiles and then trying to frame him for uh, creepily kind of stalking after her. She gets jail for 10 months. Now, here's her without makeup. Let's see if I can zoom this in. Will this zoom in? No, of course it won't. There we go. That is not an attractive face. but this is what she looks like on social media. Completely fake. And again, a lot of guys will look and say, hey, you know what? I like her legs. She's got a slim waist. She's got fake hair, fake face, fake nails, fake everything else. But again, she posts herself in a bikini. There's going to be guys that are like, oh yeah, I definitely ask her out. Like she's kind of cute. That is, that is a big difference there. But because she gets, quote, jilted, she thinks it's okay to try to ruin a guy's life. They say Courtney Ireland Ainsworth created up to 30 false profiles, then told police her former partner, Louis Jolly, was behind uh, vile messages that she said had been sent to her. The DHL worker, who was 19 at the time, reported him for supposedly um, him... Uh, now, I have to be creative with these words because of YouTube. Uh, with him uh, saying he was going to stick her with a very sharp piece of metal repeatedly and saying she's going to get an effing uh, blade in her chest. She made 10 police statements claiming Mr. Jolly was harassing and, and, and or Mr. Ho- uh, uh, she made 10 police statements claiming Mr. Jolly was giving her a hard time and chasing after her, leading him to being arrested six times and spending 81 hours in custody, including being remanded overnight. So she made these statements, and again, without really any other proof than fake account uh, social media stuff, he got arrested six times for it. He was arrested six times, charged with, uh, you know, chasing after her. He was hit with a protection order, bailed out, or he bailed on a home curfew with electronic tag and even lost his job. Recorder Ian Harris today told Ireland Ainsworth, you created an entirely fictional but superficially credible web of poisonous deceit for over five months. Mr. Jolly, 22, said they were together for two years but split up on okay terms in October before Ireland Ainsworth started seeing a new boyfriend, a man called Declan Rice. Liverpool, so... Here's the thing. They broke up and everything was okay. She starts seeing a new dude. It's not even that she was jealous about him. And then they say when when she was 20, she began her deliberate and malevolent lies. She made numerous calls to police from July 15th to December 13th and provided screenshots of messages and the names of Instagram accounts, which she attributed to him. The court heard um, the court heard Ireland Ainsworth alleged Mr. Jolly called her from withheld numbers, creeped after her, after her friends and her new partner, filmed her walking down the street and sent her the video, harassed her, made false claims she was using illicit drugs. She also told police he smashed items in her house, put a brick through her nan's window, and threatened to end her and her boyfriend. They say, uh, the recorder Harris said, you stated after he had been uh, arrested, the following you became worse. You provided images of damage to property and you and yourself as to where you said he stuck you with a blade and there was a scar on your chest. In her fourth statement on October 21st, she claimed he told Mr. Rice online, wait till I see her. She's getting an, I'm going to cut her basically. Now here's the crazy thing. Ireland Ainsworth, well, here's the crazy thing. This is all crazy. But the reason why I'm reading this stuff is because, guys, 
whether she's pretty or not, you've got to red flag her. But when, they, when they're looking for validation and popularity and attention, it, it is bordering on mental, mental insanity at this point. And, and there's so many guys that are like, yeah, but she's hot, and so I, I'll, I'll do it anyway. Don't. You really have to protect yourselves nowadays. But here's another crazy part. Ireland Ainsworth's mother, this girl's mother rang the police on November 15th, said he had threatened to hurt her online. Detectives made a request for data from Facebook, which owns Instagram, but Mr. Blasbury said the data took some time to be released to the cops. He was hit with an interim uh, protection order on December 4th and bailed for six weeks with an electronically tagged home curfew between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. And then she blamed him of breaching the order and her mother called police again. So this this guy in the meantime, right, while all this is going on, no, now she's made all these, these this fake reporting. She's made these fake accounts. She's gone through a lot of work to frame this guy. Why? Because they broke up. She's the one with a new boyfriend. He says, hey, we broke up on good terms or decent terms. Why would she go about ruining this guy's life just to do it, apparently? They say when the, when the uh, police received the data from Facebook, it showed at least 17 Instagram accounts created using two of Ireland Ainsworth email addresses and IP addresses connected to her home and mobile phone. She was arrested and interviewed on December 12, 2020, when she confessed before the Crown Prosecution Service discontinued the allegations against Mr. Jolly. She attempted to minimize during that interview what she had done. Eventually, she admitted it. So she faked the whole thing. Now, I'm reading down through here. I'm trying to find... Oh, uh, Jim Smith defending her said that she was immature and diagnosed as suffering from complex PTSD. So you can't blame her. They blamed it on uh, trauma when she was a child. Always an excuse. Never, ever taking accountability for their actions. Recorder Harris told Ireland Ainsworth he was going to send her to prison as she started crying in the dock. He said her allegations, all of them untrue, had an absolutely shattering effect on the victim and his family. He became a shell of a man he used to be, the judge said. And, and they go on just, the, the judge basically goes on blasting her. But she said, yeah, I wanted to hurt him. Locking up for 10 months and making a 10-year restraining order, he added, I extend considerable sympathy to the Jolly family. Hey, you know what? Maybe make something longer than 10 years. But recorder Harris reduced Ireland Ainsworth's sentence because of her mental health difficulties and gave her full credit for her guilty plea. So you see, uh, again, there's no accountability. Oh, well, I have mental health difficulties. Yeah, no kidding. You did something really awful. But because of that, we're going to go light on her. Do you think it would go the same for a guy? Do you think it might go the same for, for uh, I don't know, somebody else? But because she, the crocodile tears, and the, oh, I'm really sorry. This was a w very well-coordinated attack. We got to stop. We got to start holding people like this accountable. And, and yeah, maybe she doesn't do it again. Or maybe, maybe she's just more careful about it. Maybe she gets a burner cell phone so the IP address isn't connected to her phone. Who knows? But do you think that these 10 months are going to rehabilitate her? Of course not. She should have done more time. And, and she's going to need mental health evaluation. But that wasn't part of the deal. All right, um, before we move on to the dating profiles of the day, let me just say, let me just finish up with this. Guys, they may be hot. They may be somebody you're into. They may be fun. They may be willing to go to your place and shag the first night, whatever. You better start vetting for red flags. You better put her 
make her jump through some hoops if you're going to still date, be dating. And I know a lot of guys, this is just more fuel for the fire of why guys say, hey, I'm tapped out, man. Like I'm not dating anymore because yeah, maybe it's only a one in a hundred or one in a thousand chance. But if you're the guy this happens to, you're done. You're done. What if she, what if they didn't have any Facebook data to back this up? What if she was smart enough to do it from her burner phone or use a VPN to post and make these other accounts? He would have been done. He would have been done. It would have ruined his life. Why? For some mediocre piece of tail that doesn't even look that good out of makeup. You better start vetting for red flags. That's all I got to say. All right, before we do the dating profile of the day, let me do a couple of these crazy posts. Uh, this is on Facebook Mommies. This is somebody that's posting in a mother's forum in a Facebook mommies or something mommies post. It says, this post is definitely out there, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Don't judge me, LOL. Delete if not allowed. Sorry, I do have this cross posted. I'm looking for someone else with OnlyFans who would like to collab and make content. I have my own place, a pole at home. I have cute, clean bedroom. My whole apartment is clean. If you're interested, DM for more details. Someone who isn't shy wants to hustle in that industry and build a friendship. So now mother's forums on Facebook are being, <laughs> are being solicited for OnlyFans content. <laughs> this is just, again, a collapse of society. You can't be even in a mommy's forum. Now, maybe this forum is only fan mommies, but it says delete if not allowed, so I have to assume this is not. Somebody posted below, I was doing OnlyFans for a while, but stopped because I wasn't getting much subscribers. I didn't know others' uh, ways to advertise my OnlyFans account. They're running out of ways to advertise OnlyFans, so now they're advertising to other women to try to merge up and get creative content. Again, you get what you ask for, ladies. Stunning and brave. And this is from somebody else. <laughs> this is on Twitter. And uh, I found it like this, so I don't know the, the girl's uh, Twitter address. Uh, but somebody had to draw a black bar across one of her photos uh, because, obviously, it, it had some spicy content to it. She says, first, ba uh, first day back making content on OnlyFans, I guess. And I ripped my asshole. <laughs> I ripped my asshole. Standard. Now, I don't know about you, but how many jobs? I've been a YouTuber a, a pretty long time now, coming up on three years. I know a lot of you have, have kind of nine to five jobs. Is there any job where ripping your a-hole is standard? I, I, I can't think of too many. I can't. No. No. All right, let's, let's do a dating profile today. And let me just warn you now. I mean, uh, let me just warn you. This is not a good photo, guys. Um, I, it's scary. I, I feel dirty playing this music for this. Um, you've got a greasy-haired person with eyebrows like a Middle Eastern, like a Middle Eastern camel. Eye piercing, lip piercings, two of them, a black tooth, and what looks to be a week or two's worth of facial stubble. That's right. Facial stubble. I'm just going to pause here. If this makes you uncomfortable as it does me, good. 44 years old. <laughs> I am married. I feel bad who for whoever married this person. I am married. Yes, my husband knows everything I do. And we are looking for a family member. So her husband's not enough for her. She, 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 she deserves more. This time we are sure she's a woman, right? Oh, man. Her husband's not enough for her. She needs more. Yes, my husband knows everything I do, and we're looking for a family member, so I, good luck to you. I want a man that loves to cuddle and isn't afraid to be playful and silly once in a while. I don't know about you. Maybe it's just me. This picture is so bad, it's making my eyes water. I don't blame you if you look away. But I'm going to keep it here because I'm going to drill this, this 
dating profile. Like, this is dating online nowadays. Can you turn down those lights? I'm in bed with a three and extra light is not her friend. Um, I don't know about you, but when I cuddle with somebody, me personally, when I cuddle with somebody, I do not want to he- feel facial hair on my facial hair. She says, I, she, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I did not mean, I did not mean to do that. I, 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 I just incorrectly assumed this person, this per, just because this person has a husband doesn't mean it is a she. I apologize. I apologize. This person. Uh, this person says, I also have a lot of animals, but my favorite is my snake. Now, you need many years of therapy. Many, many, many years of therapy. And I bullshit you not. Here's the thing. When you look like this in a profile and you talk about my favorite pet is my snake, it makes me wonder if you own a snake or if you have a snake. Is it a trap? I don't know. But if you, when you get on these dating apps and it says, are you a man looking for a man? Are you a woman looking for a woman? Are you a man looking for a woman? woman, man? I have to assume, I mean, the person that posted this originally, I, I, and this may, uh, this may have come even from one of my viewers on Locals. I think this got messaged to me in Locals. I'd have to check. So thank you for whoever sent this in. I have to assume the person was swiping on it as a man looking for a woman. I'm I'm very hesitant to make fun of of someone's looks, but when you are uh, 44 years old, you are married, um, and that is not enough for you, and you need to continue looking, and you are in what many would concern to be um less than less than average good looking at what point at what point is enough when the pretty people well pretty with makeup but when the attractive people are 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 horrible people when the average people are horrible people when unattractive people are unhappy and horrible people and none of them can seem to be happy with anything they get and anyone they're with and they just have awful personalities like I said, needle in a needle stack, man. You can find your someone special probably, but no guarantees that it's going to work out and, and it's going to be very painful to look for that person. And, you know, I'm, I'm always hesitant to pick on somebody because of their looks because um, I, I know you shouldn't judge people based on their looks. But I think what makes this one so particularly interesting is that they this person was... Uh, maybe this makes me a bad person to say this. This person was a, was lucky enough to find a husband that wanted to marry them and be with them. And that's still not a, enough for this person. So when everybody is selfish, when everybody is entitled, when everybody thinks they deserve more and everybody is really just, they're just unattractive. At what point, at what point do we just say, I've had enough. I'm not going to date anymore. <laughs> I'll leave you with a little uh, refresher. Maybe that'll make you feel a little better. Even he's better looking than that. I got to be honest with you. My pup snoring away, happy. Un- I'll tell you, we, I'm, I'm a little jealous of him most days. He's got a rough life, I'm telling you. Uh, guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below as always. If you have, thank you very much. Best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe. Join me over on betterbachelor.locals.com. And I have links down below if you want to support via PayPal or something else. And those of you that have, I thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. Some of you have dug really deep, and uh, that always goes a long way. Guys, I'll leave it there. Uh, this is Joker. Remember, um, I don't know, everybody, not everybody, but so many people, are hiding behind makeup and awful personalities, but they get a little bit of love on social media. They think they're wonderful. They're God's gift to everybody, and they're really horrible people. And even those that are not traditionally beautiful are slowly becoming horrible people. That, that, 
that little plot of land that I want to get where I can be away from society and, and just disconnect. Um, it's looking better and better every single day. Thank you.